So let's start with the Nine of Cups. So starting off really well in February with the Nine of Cups, it's fulfillment of wishes, you know, it's emotional stability. Something is happening, something is shifting that's really bringing you up and it's, it's brightening your day pretty much. Now, it is being clarified by the Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries for some of you, not all of you. But this to me can tell me that you are taking some kind of charge in your life. You're taking this authority in your life. Um, you really, you're really going for it and you're very in control. So I see you being very in control in the month of February, very in control of yourself, your emotions, your finances, you're, you're putting things where they need to be and you're just making shit happen. So that's very nice. And then we have justice here. So the justice card to me tells me that there's probably going to be a lot of truth coming out in the month of February, a lot of cause and effect, a lot of, you're going to see a lot of things pan out in February that you didn't think were going to pan out. So that's pretty cool. We have uh, the initiate of pentacles here. So I feel very deeply that this has a lot to do with the fact that you are more secure within yourself more uh trying i feel like for a lot of you you're trying to find that financial stability and you're really trying to find a balance between like your your work life and and your personal life and you're trying to make everything happen and everything equal and i just feel like in a way because and and i see this too in this card it's like she she's holding two things at once so i feel like and also here as well i feel like a lot of you are just trying to find some balance in the month of february balancing everything out so that everything can play out the way it needs to and i feel like you know aquarius can be a little logical sometimes you know or something you know like you you like everything structured and in place and and you know you don't, you don't want any whoopsies sometimes because because it's just it's too much it's too much to carry and that's okay so i feel like what i'm trying to say here is you're gonna make it happen you're gonna balance shit out but i also feel like there is some truth coming out that you're gonna find out that's gonna really help you move forward in your life maybe in your career okay we do have the seven of wands here very interesting card i love this card I feel, okay, there's two things to this card that I'm feeling. Looking at it just by the picture of it, I feel like you're definitely going to be meditating in the month of February. You're going to take some time for yourself. You're really going to center yourself because I feel like this, doing this and balancing everything out, it, it can take a lot of, of energy from you. So I feel like you're really going to be in a place within yourself where you're going to take some time for self-care. Now with the seven of wands, this to me also signifies that that perseverance and maintaining control here because I feel like you're just you want to make things happen you want to be secure within yourself within your finances so I feel like February is going to be very financially driven but not completely um I do feel also with the four of pentacles here usually the four of pentacles is someone that's like holding a coin close to their heart and to me that always symbolizes someone keeping something close to their heart you know someone keeping that really tight uh the, you know keeping your hands tight around something so i feel like you're really persevering to keep your hands around something in your life that you want to not to not lose this is what i'm seeing here so we do have the eight of wands the eight of wands can signify communication a lot of communication coming your way it can signify some kind of traveling maybe you're thinking or planning about traveling in the month of february I feel like with this eight of wands, though, this is definitely a lot of communication, a lot of rapid action. You know, it's movement, it's quick decisions, it's 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 things that you're doing because you need to do them and because, you know, the opportunity is there. So you're just going to take the opportunity. And I feel with this novice of pentacles, it's it's the knight of pentacles. So, you know, you're you're it's like you're pushing forward. You're you're taking your time. But because it's it's. I know it sounds weird and it sounds like a contradiction, but it's like, let, let's just make it make sense. So the Knight of Pentacles, he's very efficient. He's very hardworking. So I feel because you're being efficient and hardworking, you're going to make quick decisions and take action on something because you want to make sure that you do this and you don't want to miss the opportunity of it. So if that makes sense to you, that's fine. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But I also see that there's a lot of communication here. It could mean that you are dealing again with some kind of fire sign or maybe even an earth sign here uh, and, and just taking action toward 
a situation with a person like that. So let's continue. We have the five of swords here. So the five of swords tells me that sometime, maybe for some of you could be the beginning of February, end of February, middle of February, it doesn't matter. We do have some mental conflict here. I feel like you're a little bit conflicted a little bit in your head about something. And Aquarius, I just have to tell you, don't get in your head too much, okay? Because I feel like you can avoid this. You can avoid being here, all right? There could be some conflict um, within your circle with someone or something, but I feel like you can definitely, um, you can definitely set yourself free from this. So like you can either be this person or this person in the back. So you choose which one you're going to be. Um, I feel like Spirit is saying, don't let those negative energies, those negative thoughts, anything get to you because you can be here. You don't have to be this, okay? So really think things through and make sure you don't, you know, make harsh, uh, rash decisions is what I'm trying to say. So because we have the chariot and the six of wands here with the five of swords, like clarifying the five of swords is basically what I was getting. It's that move forward take a new direction. If you feel like something is too complicated, um, you either make it not complicated or just take a new direction. Find a way work smarter, not harder is what I'm hearing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. With the six of wands, I feel like because you're taking that new direction, because you're working smarter, not harder, you are going to be successful. You are going to see that victory and you're going to be very recognized for whatever it is that you're setting off to do. So don't get in your head about it. All right. Because you're doing it. You're doing a good job. Don't worry about that. OK, I feel like if you overthink it, you're not going to do it. You're not going to take action on whatever it is that you want to take action on. OK, so we have the moon here. So the moon is telling me that there are some things that you don't see. There are some things hidden within behind <laughs> within behind the moon and i feel like you're trying to figure out you're trying to figure it out you're trying to maybe get clarity on it maybe even getting readings about it or something like that but i feel like there's something good about some things not being known okay we do have the lovers here and the six of swords so it could mean that what you don't know is that maybe you know, something's going to move out of choppy waters with a lover. Um, for some of you, I feel like for others of you, you could be traveling to go see a lover. Um, how else can I put this? Or a lover is going to come see you or, or just a partner or a friend or somebody that you seem very close to. Um, but in the end, I feel because what I'm getting from these images is almost like, um, there could have been some conflict here between you and another person. And I just feel like you guys are going to move out of that. Okay. It, it almost feels like, and I'll just say it because I know it's a little hard sometimes to, to talk about these things, but it's like, I feel like it could be that you or this person, however this resonates is feeling stuck. It's feeling like underwater, like you can't breathe. So there is a situation that makes you feel a little bit uneasy, a little bit stuck. Now, I see that this situation is going to be moving, okay, and there's brighter and better things coming. So, however that resonates with you, I feel like I got a lot of messages from that. So, let's continue. We have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords, again, is about being stuck. It's And it's also the illusion of being stuck. It's not that you're stuck. It's that there is an illusion that that there is some kind of false imprisonment here, that there's nothing you can do, you know, things like that. I feel like you're not powerless, you know. Take back your power. You are not powerless. You can do way more. You, you just have to really, truly believe in yourself that you can overcome whatever it is, whatever obstacles that are coming your way. And clarifying this is the magician. So it makes a lot of sense that I'm getting these messages because the magician is someone who makes things happen. The magician is all about willpower and your desires and creating and manifesting. So Aquarius, you have the power to manifest. Don't D don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself that you can't do that. You can do this. Um, you know, you can. The universe knows you can. Spirit knows you can. I feel like you just have to take charge. You really have to take charge and believe in yourself. Have a lot of faith in yourself. That's really going to push you forward. So we have the six of pentacles. So, so I feel like this is a lot about equal give and take. I feel like there's something here that's going to happen where you're just going to receive money from someone or for something, maybe a project, maybe something that you're doing, maybe your career, whatever your job. 
I feel like some money flow is going to happen in the month of February for you. So that's really good to know. I feel also that again, there is some equal give and take here. Maybe someone is going to help you. Um, maybe you're going to receive some kind of help. So let's, let's move on. I feel like with the Empress, that also means this, this, this kind of help could mean that it comes from someone who is kind of like a mother figure or is a mother. Um, it could also just mean someone that feels very nurturing and is trying to nurture you and give you something. I feel also with the Empress, this is abundance. So maybe that cash flow is that abundance that's coming your way. So however this resonates with you, that's very beautiful. So for the extra messages for you guys, I did pull the Ten of Pentacles and with the five of wands so what this tells me is that there's some conflict that's going to reach a big resolution here i feel it could be like inner conflict or conflict with another person okay but in the end i feel like there's a lot of stability coming your way and a lot of long-term stability all right so that's very beautiful clarifying the ten of pentacles is the three of chalices so it makes a lot of sense because this card the three of chalices is definitely about happiness it could mean friends and things like that but it can also mean that happiness that's coming your way so you know, even though there's some some conflict or some, you know, some maybe even rivalry for some of you, but not really. I don't feel rivalry as much, but I just feel like there's something here that's very confusing, but it turns out to get better and it gets happier. So it could be something with friends. It could be something with a partner, or however this resonates. And clarifying the five of wands is the elemental of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. So I feel like there's a new opportunity here for you to not be in this space of confusion. So very beautiful, very nice. Now we have your oracle cards and I'm going to start with worry is a wasted emotion which is such a good card to get right now because this whole entire reading is about you believing in yourself okay so it says your body responds to the energy that you send out it reacts to every thought as thought if <laughs> as though it was real I'm sorry, I can't even talk right now. When you create a thought of worry, it tells the body that it needs to defend itself against something foreign. And this interrupts its normal balance and harmony. Worry creates toxicity in the body and depresses the energetic flow that can create this ease or imbalance. Anytime or any place this card appears in, this, in your spread, you must step back and look at your life objectively. Ask yourself. Has worry ever changed the outcome of a situation? There's no question that the emotion worry is real. It does have energy, but it has no power to alter the result. The only power it has is to affect you. The tendency to worry is definitely a learned trait. Although it may also have a genetic component, your guides urge you to see this energy for what it is, a waste of time and trouble. Do not give in to it. Instead, take steps to remove the possibility of its energy coming into your life in the first place. So this makes a lot of sense, Aquarius. I feel like, and also what I'm getting energetically as I'm pulling this card is that maybe for some of you, you could be dealing with a lot of anxiety um, and things like that. And I feel like, this is a card that is really reassuring you like worry has never altered any outcome so just like relax you know or try to relax i know you can't tell someone that has anxiety to relax that's not how it works and i i completely understand because i suffer from it too i've suffered from it you know so i understand that but i feel like there could be a middle ground where you can find that you can really enjoy life without having to worry so take these steps take these actions if you need to get help get help i feel like there's something here there's a decision that you want to make there's a there's something there's a risk a chance something that you want to take but i feel like worry is really pulling you back from taking that risk so again i just want to say take your time find what works for you and then go ahead take that shot take that chance all right so let's see we have journey within Let's see what this one says. Here we go. Okay. So Journey Within says, The physical body is a product of this material dimension. It is created on Earth using elements like carbon, hydrogen, and calcium. It is vulnerable. It has limitations and a finite lifespan. Your higher self has chosen to inhabit it. 
to have experiences that the spirit world does not offer. It is not the real you. What you see in the mirror is only a vehicle. The real you is perfect, limitless, and eternal. It is connected to everyone and everything you see. The ability to contact your guides and their knowledge is omnipresent, but you must do your part to access their wisdom. This card's appearance in your spread is a message encouraging you to be receptive to the guidance that is your birthright. Meditation, sitting in silence, and asking to receive advice during the dream state are all ways to establish contact with your higher self and guides. Use these tools to, that have been granted to you. Don't be discouraged by the earthly distractions placed between you and your guides. Practice developing the sacred relationship. You'll find that life becomes much easier when you have daily communication with your guides. And I feel like this could also help you with those worries that we were talking about, okay? So really, I feel like in the month of February, you're definitely going to take some time to go within. Very beautiful. Now we have abundance is your right, okay? Very true. And this one says, while the awareness of your higher self is focused on this physical dimension, it is only natural to believe in the concept of limitation, but your soul is limitless in its ability to give out and receive energy. You just have to accept that you are capable and worthy. The universe will give you anything that you desire, but it's not a one-way street. It's a loop. The energy of abundance must flow, so as it comes to you, you must be willing to send it out. All you desire can be yours if you accept that this energy does not end with you. It is your right to be the receptacle of boundless love, happiness, health, and prosperity, but you must receive these gifts with the intention of keeping the flow of abundance alive. If your intention is to have abundance stop with you, then you are currently blocking the energy from coming to you in the first place. If you fall into the mindset of limitation, you are saying to the universe that you are not worthy to receive. Nothing is further from the truth. This is your ego talking. The universe always says yes. It is the ego that says no. You can be the beneficiary of any and all gifts if you accept that it is 